Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty. It is episode number 80, so we are deep, deep into the run. And if you've made it so far and are still watching episodes, then kudos for you. Secondly, this game is just wow. It's a, it's definitely a drain. Very long, intense and many, many, many missions. Today our objective is to uh, defend Mist Haven, our base in the uh, southern Pacific uh, Ocean near Papua New Guinea. And that is happening prior to the uh, Ancients because I figured out the ancient ruins need to be excavated first. So without further ado, let's jump into the defense. Okie dokie. So we are about to defend this facility and as you can hopefully appreciate, we're going to play a little side game, which is called how many can we capture? Move to here. Frenzy everyone. And then let's see. Nah. I would like to move over here with Dilly. One. And two. Before we use more actions um, let's have Drenks move a bit closer we need him at the front line anyways Give Stilly two extra actions. Let's save Stilly's willpower, which we might need a little bit later. Euler. Hits. And we make sure that the guy does not wake up, at least not anytime soon. We are going to move down. Next turn, we're just we can throw our turret. Moving in position to use War Scream. Uh, Grel does have War Cry as well, so she can really work well there. And we're moving over just in case we need even more war cries. All right, end of turn. Yeah, we want to get out of uh, the sniper range. I haven't seen a single enemy so far who would be too threatening. Can actually just let them come. 
Just need to make sure that we're not being sniped. That's all. Semi-solid. Five. Reloads. And he's almost down. Well, continuing to overwatch, of course. seems to be hard to hit reload overwatch drags moves to here takes the shield Polly puts a turret to here and we're going into cover taking the other side just in case Okay, end of turn. Very well. That little brain sucker, mind fragger, very much uh, gets paralyzed. Enemy moves up carefully. I think what we can do is we can open another entrance here once more people are paralyzed and then just surprise them. <clears throat> that on the other hand was not so nice. the gun yep. all right drinks begins to move in One, two, um, Yeah, we don't have uh, onslaught. Uh. I forgot that ranks does not have the sprint perk. 
So how do we get uh, the dash perk? How do we get him out there? Uh, out of there? Demo. I think that's not a bad idea. There we go. He got himself out of there. And it was actually not too bad of an, uh, of an action to begin with. Because now we can move up. Give me that. Okay, looks like a charm. Uh, do we have more willpower? Yes, we do. We got plenty more. Oh, wow, yep, that is exactly what I was looking for. We got one last shot. So good when you do have a lot of willpower. It's really crazy. Yeah, and Terranx could put it uh, mm, Dubo up. It's actually better to give Ian the uh, melee gun. And I believe we've all were done. There is a para paralysis hit. Well, so much for our melee weapon. We got even more coming. If we capture many of them, that would be a very rich mission. Okay, one down. Oh. 
what a war, uh, war cry. I like it. This guy becomes invisible again. Slowly but surely we're going to get it. Really? We're so far away, how? It's even worse when you miss because return fire still tri uh, triggers. Actually, the last return fire that he had. Good, more overwatch. I think we're okay for now. I don't see a lot more that we could do. Everybody is affected by war cry. And we're just going to paralyze each and every one of them. Not again. Always the same BS. He was just out of range. Just out of range from our war cry. Very annoying. Okay. Polly moves over. that guy off we are exchanging options again moves up one two I tell you what, three. One. Two. He's in a coma. One, two, go just in tur this guy is gone three rounds, not yet. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, we're fully out of ammunition. Well, that sucks. In which case, this is slowly but surely going to move more towards a kill them all mission. There's still a few in here. Next round, Ian can move in. Grail moves up, overwatches, Murphy moves up, overwatches. Okay. Drinks got hit. I don't like that. Moving up. Field medic and regaining that. Okay, cool. Inappropriate Murphy. One, two, three, four. Good. Dashing in. One. Moves up. Hit. Kill. Another kill. Hit. Hit. And kill. Good. So, who's left standing? The guy with a almost full paralysis. What can we do about that? No will points. I know what we can do about that. Move up. Take 
Take that. And done. One more captive. Still so little experience. 500 experience divided by 8 would be 40. But apparently it's prorated. And the lower levels are getting a little bit less than that. Yeah, the rest of the mission was good. We actually captured quite a few enemies. Like for what the uh, mission was supposed to do, i.e. generate as much uh, mutagen as possible, we actually did very well with that and the Prime Team was good. I am concerned though that the Prime Team at Murphy and Co are not getting to the right level. Cool, we got a new piercing sniper rifle, 130 and pierces for 50. It's not bad. I still like the laser sniper rifles better, but it's actually pretty damn decent. So, in terms of this here, we got 170, 260, 360, 455, 515, and 537. Thank you. That was a lot of mutagen in the base defense which also means we can now finally mutate our sniper incivince is already mutated we got anthony here who's already mutated now question really is what are we going to do with you this whole thing here is not working out that well backbiter so in terms of stealth has a couple of two-handed weapons does have assault rifles which is good does even have sniper training so hmm Yeah, we don't want to reduce uh, the ability to hit, right? Accuracy is nothing on this here. Perceptor Helm would definitely be an upgrade in terms of accuracy and stealth. And great perception. This would be good in both of these categories as well. Problem is, no two-handed weapons. That's not great in accuracy, but it is good in stealth. This is good in accuracy, but not so good in stealth. So I'm, yeah. Hmm. That's great in stealth, but the armor is really poor. Stealth 20, and here we do have stealth 30. No speed bonus either. 
I don't know if that electric kick is any good. I mean, I could build it just like another sniper and not give a damn about the stealth. And believe me, those 12% accuracy here make a really good case. That would be perfect, but I don't like uh, the restriction to one-handed weapons. Would make the character really not worth anymore. I wonder should we maybe go with that and the legs or are we just going like this plus this and then taking a different head all all together and really just making it the sniper with an infiltrator on top. I like the idea about the drones, that wasn't bad. I also like the idea of a sniper, that's not bad either. Having someone who can scout out and is fast, that definitely makes a lot of sense. And agile legs with the massive speed aren't bad either okay not as good as the shadow legs hmm like if we do this 30 stealth and that plus the middle torso then we would be at 30 35 plus 30 here 20 55 that would increase these Stealth plus accuracy would be higher and perception would also be higher. We would have a perception, not the perception module, but we would have the blast uh, vest. Granted, we wouldn't have the greatest armor as an infiltrator. That isn't bad either. Stealth and accuracy is actually quite good. You know what? I'll just build him for stealth. And see if that's a viable strategy. So this here doesn't seem like the best head but I would like to experiment with it I can always like redo it afterwards stilts 30% that's really massive Good, and then we'll take that middle section. Armor. Why can't I get rid of the armor or change that one, huh? kidding me why can't I so you're now permanently stuck with that infiltrator suit look on the other hand we have 55 stealth right so it's not really bad 
Snydrin crossbow. How is that working against? Sixty thirty four range. Okay, somehow I can't really exchange anything on this character. Let's try that again. Mandicore 3. <laughs> Did I break the character? Oh no, storage 207. Now I understand. Well, now I do understand uh, that, but that's easy to solve. We have dozens of n newt characters. a bit embarrassing to run out of space. Um, yeah, take that one here. is more storage space <coughs> and just out of curiosity build storage okay cool yeah <sighs> when I said the game is finicky I really meant that. It seems to be a f fiddly game where you need to do everything in detail. Good, we do have sniper rifles. The question is, do we need them? From time to time, yes. Which of the other guns are we not needing? Okay, this guy is now complete infiltrator. I don't know about uh, the crossbow yet. Not my absolute favorite weapon. It has the advantage though that you can shoot it for one action and oftentimes that's really not bad. For instance, when worms uh, come crawling up. The spider drones I enjoyed a lot so far, so they are good. I'm not yet sure if I want assault rifles or if we go with uh, sniper rifles. S there is 
a voice in me telling me I want to go with the assault rifles here. I think that's a good loadout. Very accurate and highly, highly, highly stealth oriented. Good, back to our team. Who is not mutated yet? We got the infiltrator. Vanessa can't really get the head mutated yet. Still lacking a few points. But we can get that. And that, congratulations, you finally got your mount. And whilst we're at it, uh, she's proficient with PDWs. Uh, A shotgun I don't think is a good idea. Okay, so those would be in Manticore 3. Uh, we still have people in Manticore 1. I like that had the Radiant Hope wasn't bad at all. It's actually quite helpful. Middle section armor is good as well. I think what I don't like is the choice of equipment here. Still not a big fan of uh, this Redeemer. Let's give you a proper grenade. And hope that that is enough. We have fully mutated you. An Asian cow on the other hand is also fully mutated. Waits for the second class at the moment as well. Typical Berserker just, yeah, needs... Needs more points in order to get to that second class. Um, so the good news is that means the entirety of team number three is mutated and we still have 300, uh, 300 left over. Which means we can go crazy on uh, the guys here. And what I would want to do is... Use the stuff that we haven't uh, used a, a whole lot. Matter of fact, do something completely different with that team. So what I would say is who theoretically has the option to use one hand weapons. I mean, we could go with Carlos here, right? So we're still sticking with a judgment head. That's okay for me for now. But if we were to give him like this Venom Torso. That's one option. The other one is making him more of a melee character. He has a lot of will points, so his little uh, tentacles would go a long way, but he's not running fast because he's the guy who's letting others run fast. So might as well use the ranged accuracy of the shoot spike. And just see if that is any good. Good, mutation done. Irreversible now. 
accuracy plus five. Speed plus zero. Good, so he can't wear two hand uh, weapons anymore. He needs to wear one hand weapons and we might want to uh, let him become a berserker as, as the second. We wanted different builds, right? And we certainly didn't have one with berserker so far. So just testing around uh, with uh, new builds here. And that here would no longer be needed. Instead, we would give you a pistol. Cool. And with Berserker, he would also have a melee attack. So we still got 140. Let's see what else. What 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 do we do with the uh, with the infiltrator here? We have one maximum stealth infiltrator, and what we could do is we go for that and that, and then a really heavy helmet, and make it a maximum tank infiltrator melee hmm or or we're actually going super fast plus four speed here and plus one speed here and then he's just sneaking in attacking and tentacling we can still do it together with berserker because with uh, adrenaline rush it would just cost one i don't think that that's a bad idea i actually think that that is quite serviceable so yeah he's going to be the fast one and in order to start that let's mutate the legs into agile legs by the way i very much think that these are um suboptimal choices overall but i want to see it myself what kind of builds you could do modified based on dna mutation grand superior speed immunity to goo and ability to jump one story which isn't bad. I mean, for an infiltrator, that's definitely something that uh, I could see ourselves doing. And if you combine it with that, it's actually really uh, an interesting build. Uh, given that they would not immediately be seen, all of that speed should work in, in our favor. Granted, our stealth isn't particularly stellar either but yeah we would be a different kind of infiltrator one that does not rely on stealth because they just don't give a fuck they run towards the enemy and um, just immediately paralyze them i don't know how long they will live but they they have at least a plan okay all of these guys are okay good enough to go into a hive TMR 2 yeah nothing has changed nothing has changed here either and we're still on the way okay cool so trade 
Uh, can't get anything, but what we can do is Haven Info. Let's recruit a soldier. And we do have them on the on the ship, right? Uh, Saiken. Well done. We have a new soldier. I didn't know that we recruit gren uh, grannies nowadays. A little bit over the age category, not trying to discriminate you here, uh, Polina, but... I think you made a bit of a mistake when you filled out that application. Pandora Nest has been discovered. Okay, well... It's very soon going to be our next job. Attack strength 22. As always, when so much is on the line. Let's trade. Good. Now that we've uh, traded, uh, we're going to go into that mission, but that happens the next uh, time. If we successfully do this mission, New Jericho will love us, we get good rewards, and it will be sunshine and rainbows. I like it. Intervene and eliminate the threat. Sounds like something we can do. 22 is a new height in terms of enemy strength. I've never seen something as strong as that. And we're going in with like six people. Okay, they are partially freshly mutated, so should be a little bit stronger than before, but still. Let's do these uh, probes and afterwards I think a few uh, vests are fine but not too much two of these are fine as well and then we're good good Next overall target would be to get potentially a Tiamat uh, after that. Sounds like a reasonable idea. Still a little bit low on facilities, but if my memory serves me well, we had a few in construction. It's always so much is happening between when I put something in and then when it actually uh, finishes. <clears throat> yeah, we got fabrication plans here. It's still three days and it feels like an eternity when I started building those. Okay, so look. Next up, we need to destroy that. We need to do this mission, which is going to be hard. Then eventually destroy that one here, which is also going to be quite uh, toughy. Ah, it's a fresh colony as far as this looks. Four, four and four. It's not quite one of these bigger ones, Pandorian Citadel. Yeah, we need to get, we definitely need to get this one going. It's the last, uh, mm, the last colony up here. And we don't want to lose more people. 
Um, yeah, and we haven't even started here because, frankly, uh, the TMA2 guys, they have just recovered five willpower during the last, like, what, four hours of gameplay. Either I'm playing slow or the game's just dragging. I don't know. You decide, guys. Uh, see you in two days and have a great evening. Bye-bye.